Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2022 Ford Raptor with a 37 package. First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, I just released my car buying course, so if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to that in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Now under the hood we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque with fuel economy being rated at 15 around town and then 16 on the highway. And I can tell you being someone who owned a gen two and now a gen three with the 37 package, fuel economy actually doesn't go down at all with the 37 package. I'm averaging the same amount with my gen three with 37s that I did with the gen two, about 13 and a half miles per gallon. I get it on the truck all the time, throttle-wise, so uh, that's why my fuel economy is not the greatest. But yeah, doesn't change. Now let's go over the front end of the 37 package Raptor. So first off, we've got the venting here in the center. You guys can see the Raptor logo off to the side. And then coming down below, we've got the orange LED accent lights with the projector bulbs. You notice it says Raptor there at the bottom got the marker lights in orange to match the well the marker lights are federally mandated to be orange so rather the led accent light matches marker lights anyways ford logo here with the metallic gray got the camera there just down below the logo and then the metallic gray bumper with the skid plate that pops out like crazy looks fantastic there's parking sensors integrated into the front end tow hooks as well and then you guys can see the rigid fog lights. the reason those two have covers on either side and well in the center is because they're too bright, right? So they're the same luminosity as the outside fog lights, but if you have all four on at the same time, it's too bright to meet federal regulations. So Ford has to have them covered, which is funny, but yeah, there you go. There's a front end. Now coming here to the side, we've got 17 inch wheels and wrapped around that we have 37. So you've got these special wheels that come with the 37 package. They're beadlock capable. And I think this is the best looking wheel on the Raptor. That's just my personal opinion. Now, as for the 37s, they're massive, they're beefy. They look really cool. You guys can see the front suspension shock here. Got the live valve from Fox. And then you guys can see the oversized fender flare. Now, got to talk about some specs here. We've got 13 inches of travel here in the front and then 14 inches of travel in the rear. You do lose an inch of travel with this 37 package compared to a 35. You can see here with the venting on the side and then also got the off-road side steps and uh, got the little Ford keypad there on the side. Take a few steps back so you guys can see the full side view of the truck. Looks great. I love how this is uh, looks in white. It's just, uh, it's got that Stormtrooper appearance to it. And then you can see here with the live valve in the back and then we have the five link coil suspension as well. And something that's interesting about Raptors is they even paint the wheel wells body color, which has uh, always been interesting to me. Now here's our key fob. We have our unlock lock remote start and then the drop down here for the tailgate. And while that's dropping down, let's talk about payload capacity, which is over 1300 pounds for the 37 package. You guys can see here, We've got the measuring tables and all that fun stuff. And then got the LED bed lights here in the back of this one. And then we have the full outlet. And then got the LED cargo light with the camera as well. And then that's for the cargo tie downs. Uh, those are actually in the back. You install them yourself. And then you can see this has Ford's bed step system. And it's got the automatic raising tailgate, which is definitely a cool feature. And let's uh, move on to the lights. So. Let's actually uh, turn them on for you guys so you can see this a little bit better. So you've got full LED lights here. Now see the marker light there in the back. And again, you've got the Ford logo here stamped into the bed, which I think, or rather on this plaque on the bed. I can't talk today. Anyways, F-150 logo, got the Raptor logo. Notice we have our 37 sticker here at the bottom. Got the exhaust tips here. Uh, got the new trombone exhaust. It's an active system, so you can have it loud or quiet. And then it's got the tow hooks here on the back as well. And then the spare tire, which is also a 37. They somehow stuffed it under there, which is pretty crazy. Towing capacity is around 8,000 pounds. And that's all for the rear. Also, you guys will notice this doesn't have the 37 decals on the side. You don't have to get those. Uh, so if you don't like that look, and if you want like a cleaner appearance with the truck, like what this has, then well, you don't have to get the decals. 
Now here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see the blue with the code orange. Looks fantastic. Got the leather trim down below. Carbon fiber. Speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. And then here are the rear seats. So you can see again with the code orange and then the black and then the blue down below and then more of the code orange stitching with some black stitching. And yeah, these seats look uh, fantastic. Now the side set makes getting in and out very easy. You can see the rubber floor mats down below. Leg room. And then headroom. Got some cup holders here. We've got the heated seats with the vents, all of our charging ports. And then if we open this up, got the cup holder. And then notice there's even code orange on that. That is pretty cool attention detail. And then there is under seat storage with the tie downs, all that fun stuff. Let's head to the front. Now let's go over the door panel here at the front so you guys can see again the code orange with the blue and then the black leather down below. All of our window controls with the mirror adjustment and also the power folding mirror control. More carbon fiber, three functions for the memory seats, got blind spot monitoring for the mirror. And then you can see the speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. Ford Performance. And then here are the front seats, you got speaker in the headrest, Raptor logo down below, and then you can see the blue with the seats. Looks fantastic, got more of that code orange stitching. Got your adjustments on the side of the seat, and then you got the pedal layout down below. Pedal adjustment, parking brake, light controls right here. You got the mirror lights, you got this for the outlet. That's to drop down the tailgate. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Unless there's even carbon fiber right there. And then you got the American flag with the code orange. And, well, let's pop in. So here is our steering wheel in the wrap. You got the code orange there at the top and then in the interior of the steering wheel with the stitching as well. And then leather all around, really grippy. You got the paddle shifters there on the back. And then we have a bunch of controls here on this side. So you guys can see some controls for the center stack and then you got your steering, suspension, exhaust, which we'll move that away. So you can see you've got normal, comfort, sport, and then off-road is the last steering mode. And then suspension, normal, sport, and then off-road. And then exhaust, we have normal, sport, Baja, and then quiet that you can go between from an exhaust perspective. And on the other side, you guys can see you got our adaptive cruise control. We have a new R mode here on the steering wheel that you can press and it'll show your my mode uh, setup. So you basically can have like a custom mode with it. And so this will actually fix a big problem with the first iteration of the uh, Gen 3. I'm gonna keep popping up so you guys can see. So basically you set that up however you want it, steering, suspension, exhaust wise. So when you pop in your truck, you can just press it and boom, R mode. So yeah, pretty cool little thing. And also we've got a Raptor logo down here at the bottom. There's a the steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster. We kind of already looked at it, full digital gauge cluster. You can scroll through some different menus to see different bits of info on the truck, nothing too crazy. Do have some different drive modes though, which uh, gives you a fuel economy warning. So we've got our normal off-road Baja, rock crawl on the one side, and then on the other side, we've got our sport tow haul, and then slippery, and you can't go like in full circle with the drive modes, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's not too much. We have our auto stop start here. This is the, for the camera, the parking assistance. We've got this for the hazard light stability control, and then that's kind of like your off-road cruise control, just all at the top of the infotainment system. So here is the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop in reverse. You've got the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. You got the bird's eye view as well, which is pretty cool. And then you got all your different viewpoints. So like we can zoom in super close to the receiver hitch, all that fun stuff, it has a bed camera. And then that camera button there at the top, if we press that, it'll pull open the front camera. So if you're pulling a new tight parking space, that makes that a whole lot easier. As for the rest of the display, there aren't any real changes for 22. It's still amazingly responsive, uh, easy to use. You've got the side screen here uh, that kind of gives you like these little pages you can scroll through to see different things. Uh, so the split screen functions great. Notice we got our trail turn assist in the infotainment system. And there you go. We've got our pro trailer assist. You guys can see down below, we've got our trailer brake controls. We've got our drive line select. So we have two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, four wheel auto. And then your drive mode select with the locker. Radio controls right here. We do have the dual zone climate controls, heated seats, cooled seats for the front heated steering wheel, and then the climate controls kind of have a different face for 22, which is another interesting thing. And then you can see we've got our wireless phone charging area with the USBs, and then notice again, it's uh, carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. We have the shifter here for the 10 speed automatic transmission. Uh, so you guys can see nice leather on it. And then we do have the fold down function with the shifter as well. Manual mode, you can use uh, the paddles when you go into that. And then notice we got Raptor here on the center console and then again with that blue Alcantara, this does have the workbench center console. And then opening up you guys can see the storage space. A couple cup holders here in the center and then notice that we have exposed the uh, key holder so like if 
you're having issues with starting up the truck, you can put the key in there if the key battery's dead and then it starts it up, which is pretty cool. Glove box, which uh, you can see. Nice, got the carbon fiber trim there. And then you can see here with the blue on the dash and then the orange stitching. Popping up top, we have our six auxiliary switches with the uh, truck, which is another nice little feature. Notice we've got the power sliding rear window. We've got all of your controls here for the panoramic sunroof, universal garage door openers, and well, that's all for the top. Now here's our window sticker for this 2022 Raptor. You guys can see the standard equipment and yeah, freeze frame if you can read through that. Like I said, they have the fuel economy rating as set as less than a 35 package, but like I said, personally, I haven't noticed a difference with my truck. And then you guys can see the optional equipment here down below. This thing's loaded up. So you can see the base price of the Raptor after all of the options. Uh, you can see that price. And then total MSRP, $82,600. And $60. And notice the performance package is actually uh, less expensive. So originally it was $7,500, but now it's $5,250. Uh, so it's interesting that they made the package a little bit less uh, money. But, uh, anyways, there is this 37 package. That's going to sum things up for our video with this 2022 Ford Raptor with the 37 package. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And also, I guess on a side side note, I want you guys to let me know what you think about the spec on this particular 37 package. I think it looks amazing with the white and the blue. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think on that and I'll see you guys.